so you got these guys if you kill them some little like leeches or whatever come out of their body and they're actually 10 times harder to kill after that otherwise they just leave you alone so I recommend leaving them alone alright so you got this person I just killed so I'm gonna summon him her looks like a her based on what what she's wearing up top And here we go. It's a fairly large battleground. I like that because of that. Look at what we have here. <laughs> She's happy to see me. Chaos Witch Quetlag, or however you pronounce that shit. Be careful, cause oh god, damn! Seriously, the fire attacks can be quite dangerous. But for the most part, your buddy here is just gonna wreck shop. Get out of the fire! Matter of fact, we're gonna use this axe. We're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. Good damage. He'll actually shoot flames quite a distance. He, she. Try this attack. Hell yeah. That got some attention. How far does it go? Oh, okay. I'm doing too much damage to my... Oh, no, no, no! I'm doing too much damage to my durability. So now I have to put the weapon away. Not a whole lot of difference between these two anyway. Oh, that what that attack is a bitch. Cuz it seems to be like a large AoE. Um shit, I forgot about that. I recommend I recommend not using the shield cuz it doesn't block her attacks 100% and there's a lot of fire damage coming with the weapon attack. For the most part Girl handled it just fine. Ouch, that fucking hurt. Doing her thing. And peace. Not a very hard boss. Just use this shield with 100%. Because she, she, that soul is actually, I'm going to use that to make a weapon later. I get some twin humanities from summoning her for the help in the boss fight. The little icon, look below my stamina meter, the little icon down there that has a down arrow, it's actually on the sil silhouette of my weapon, and that means that the weapon's at risk, it's got low stamina, or low uh, durability and stuff like that. So you come over here, and you got another bell, here of all places. So you ring that bad boy. And then you'll see what's next to go. Next area can be tricky to navigate. A lot, of, a lot of people have trouble with it. I had a lot of trouble with it the first time around. So this bell rings. And then, that's the gargoyle belt. That's the gargoyle belt, gargoyle bell tower that we went to, and there's the castle that I'm going to next. These giants here, they hear the call. They uh, opened the gate for me. You heard both. He said something to happen when both um, bells ring. And the gate I can um, go into now. And the next few places in this game are pretty damn awesome. Sin's Fortress and after that, Anor Londo. 
pretty cool places in the game. Very beautiful architecture. Very beautiful graphics. So we got a homeward bone. But we're not quite done here. So you can walk down the stairs over there or you can just drop in the middle here. Either whoops. Either way. I just drop because I'm impatient. That is the next destination. That's the next destination here. It goes down to um, another boss over there. But I don't want to go there yet because um, I just don't want to fucking deal with that boss. But uh, I'll go there later. However, there's something here that not very many people know about. It's a hidden wall. And um, if you like Pyromancer, you can get a pretty awesome spell here. Oh dear. What have we here? Sure, why not? <laughs> Don't touch that bonfire. Because you want to use a homeward bone to get out of here. Don't touch the bonfire. Because it's not like you have to like light the bonfire. It's already lit. So as soon as you touch it, you're pretty much stuck here if you wanted to use a homeward bone. No. Okay, talk. There we go. She doesn't say much. But you can actually use her to reinforce the flask if you want. As long as you have the firekeeper soul. Into her covenant. Whoops. Covenant's not so important. Sometimes you get benefits, but I enter her covenant, and then you get um, great chaos fireball from pyromancy, which is pretty awesome. I'll be using that at some point later. You can strengthen your covenant by offering her humanity. Uh, I think you have to offer like groups of 10, 20, or 30 to to get what. Um, to get like special bonuses from it so keep that in mind it's a lot of humanity dead end pretty sure that's accurate there's nothing you can do over here so now use a homeward bone and go all the way back to the other one so you don't have to walk back because I've made that mistake before now I'm good All right, let me, before I end this little recording session, let me walk out of here, show you guys the way out of here. And then um, it actually links right back to, pretty close to Fire Link Shrine, all the way back to the beginning. Stop dragging his dead carcass. I had to roll to get off of it, Jesus. I want to keep recording longer, because I don't want to stop playing, but I, don't, I had like, Fraps takes up a lot of hard drive space, and I only have enough to record about, I'd say, like, a little less than two hours, so. Maybe I'll render him and record again today, who knows. I got some shit to take care of, but I don't really give a fuck. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I wanna keep playing this game and record it. I'm addicted to this game. And Resident Evil 6 won't get here for a few days, I think. As soon as Resident Evil 6 gets here, God help my life. Alright, so you go up here and you continue. Oh, wait, there's something I forgot. Ow. Something I forgot to show you guys. There's another armor set that you will like. Matter of fact, I think it's an upgrade on mine. You come down here. Forget about him. He's not gonna. Just keep running along this path. Go slower, because I've, I've taken this path before, so I know it. Go slower, so you don't fall off. I believe going up that ladder to my left is a dead end, and it serves no purpose. Go to this guy and grab all this armor and a catalyst for your magic. And then this gives you a sorcery spell. These dickheads don't leave you alone. Why do they? Why? Why bother, guys? Like, you watch me murder. Uh. Anyway. See, this is an upgrade on everything except the bleed and poison resist, and I don't care about that when I'm out of this area. Has curse resist, too. For whatever reason, the gloves just seem to be a huge downgrade. Look at that. Massive, so I don't bother with the gloves. Everything else is a massive upgrade for all the damage. And then the curse and, or the poison and, um, the poison and bleed resist are not, you know, like, um, not priorities for me. Curse resist is much, oh god. I would have panicked there like earlier on when I was playing before I got good at the game. I would have panicked and fallen off straight up. 
So you go up here, keep taking the ladders upwards. There's actually a back entrance to this place that gets you here fairly quickly. That's where we're going. Keep climbing, keep climbing. It's annoying, but there's one enemy here to deal with. Ignore the little bastards flying behind you. Keep it moving. And one more ladder. Here we go. At the top, there's actually a key. Don't forget this key as well. You're going to need it for later. Open this chest. Key to New Londo Ruins. Actually, I don't think you need it. I think I actually, you can actually use the Master Key if you pick that for your item, which I recommend. Unless you pick the Thief class, in which case you could have picked something else. So you gotta deal with three more of these guys. But as we've seen, they're not that bad. He will occasionally take a second swing. Oh, I got the death blow behind him. It didn't kill him? Damn, he's a tough one. There's two more up here. Be careful that you pull only one at a time unless you want to fight both at a time. Both at the same time, rather. Did I... Did I pull both? I thought I did. I'm like, damn it, I didn't want to do that. I did! How did that happen? This is exactly why I don't want to do this. Fuck, man. Fuck! They got such massive reach, that's why I hate fighting. No! I knew- Oh, if you knock me off, I swear to God. Oh, you're an idiot. Go ahead and roar and make, like, the rest of the fight easier for me. That's why I didn't want to do that. I think I'm running out of hard drive space, so I need to hurry the hell up. But I can show you guys something cool. Hold on a second, let me see if I take this off. Am I good now? Yeah, okay. So I'm not... If you go that way, on this side, you can cross a bridge and then you come up to a sleeping... Or oh, it looks like it's dead, like a bone dragon. And it has some items like in between its paw area, or the claw area. And if you roll up on him, he'll actually wake up. You can grab those items and run, which I recommend doing. Because there's some a good shield and a decent sword. But, um, if you have magic, he's really easy to fight. All you do is stand back and hit him with magic. I don't right now, so. Here's New Londo Ruins. I can take this elevator right back up to Firelink Shrine. Come down here. And there's a little hidden passage stairway. Hmm? This, this guy. Up, and more importantly, you're free. Well, I'm Rickett Vinhard. I was once an established smith. Can you believe it? Hmm? Have you? Oh no. It's safe here. Can't bear the thought. Although, I must admit, there's not much. How about this? There you go. Another blacksmith. There's four in total in the game. I'll show you what made me the best. 
You can take you can change my battle axe into a magic one if I have a green titanite shard. I'm gonna upgrade the So you need uh, you need dragon scales for those, but it's ten thousand souls for every upgrade, I think. Maybe even more later. Come back soon. He's not all that useful if you don't have magic weapons. There's another dungeon over there. But um all the enemies over most of the enemies over there are ghosts, which means you need transient curses to uh to hit them. They're not that hard, it's just annoying. And the boss fight over there is really annoying. I hate that boss fight. But we'll get to that when we get to that. So you come up here, pull this lever to get the elevator down. Step on the middle pressure plate to activate the elevator. And we are now in familiar territory. Although I don't think I've gone down this way to show you guys before. The way they designed this game is just flawless. It's beautiful. So you come up here. And we're actually in the place where we reinforced our flask the first time around. Basically below the, uh, below the little bonfire here. And with that, I think I'll end this recording. I don't have enough hard drive space to keep going, otherwise I would. Got to render them out, and then uh, I'll play a little bit later. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.